Uh, hello, uh, I'm just going to demo uh, the new uh, Pydantic feature that we added to messaging, which basically just lets it so that uh, everything can be type checked while you're coding. Uh, it's integrated with uh, MyPy. Um, so if you uh, use MyPy um, and use the specific message contents. Um, you want to use this rather than the class instance because the class instance thinks that it's a um, subclass of message base and you'll miss, miss some of the contents uh, when type hinting. Um, so we see we have the solve package message here. So if we try to instantiate message contents, uh, we can see a very verbose about what, why like, um, what we've entered is wrong. Um, so we're missing a component name, a service version, a package name, package version, index URL, and solver. Um, and these are all required. Um, so then if we did message contents and provided all of these, um, let's just add a component name, uh, but make it an integer, then we will get a different error. Um, because it, no, it, uh, it looks it looks to see if they're missing first. But if we provide everything as integers, uh, all of these I believe are supposed to be strings, um, so they should cause a bunch of um, validation errors. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> well, at the very least, it will show you if you're missing uh, certain message contents right now. Uh, oh, it automatically casts it to an, a string uh, you can see here. So even though uh, you provide an integer, um, it'll uh, it'll cast it to what you want. Um, so it at least won't break uh, on our side um, when it tries to read it in. Yep, so that's it. Yes, and um, do we do we do we check for um, the correctness of these values? So if we have that version v1 now in a message that we're going to receive, do we do something with it? Is that on the pedantic layer too, or is that up to the consumer of the message? That's uh, up to the consumer of the message. So pedantic basically just uh, make sure all of the typing is correct in the message that's sent. Um, so I forgot that it, uh, uh, what's the word? Create, like cast the uh, value to whatever uh, type you define. Um, so it automatically made it a string um, rather than an integer. Um, rather than throwing uh, errors. Because if, if someone puts in the wrong value, they probably know what they want there, um, even if um, the value they the value type they provided is wrong. So it'll automatically cast that for them. Nice. Uh, thanks. And any questions for Kevin? Nope. And I'm going to stop recording. Thanks, Kevin. Good.